It's the final day of the week. It is the final day of the week. It is Friday. We're doing some more Hearthstone. In the last part, we dominated another opponent, and we met all of our goals for the week. We got our second 10 gold for three wins, and we finished our quest. But because somebody quit in the first two and a half minutes, I'm not entirely sure how long it was yet. I haven't edited, obviously. I'm still recording, but it seemed really short. I had to cram in one more, so here we are. Now we're playing someone who could be anyone. It's ranked 20, so he could be a rank 1 player who hasn't played in a couple months and fell all the way down here just to torment me. Or it could just be a level 20. Actually, in this matchup, I am not going to play out the Cleric because I feel like it's just waiting to get Coin War axed. Now, the same logic could probably apply here, but the thing is, I don't care. <laughs> That's the big difference. Let's we'll see if he had it. Nope, just slam. Doesn't mean he didn't have the war axe, mind you. It's just. Just slam. Well, since nothing's on the board, I guess we're gonna steal some thoughts. He has a gold fiery war axe in his deck, so you know he has it. We're gonna show him, though. Am I just thought stealing again? That seems awfully greedy. Let's get something on the board. Yeah. Yeah. Something to get him thinking. Something that's out of range of death spites. All that jazz. Shield slam on something that can't kill. Very interesting. Back to work. Spending a lot of stuff to kill nothing. I mean, he's killing the one, but you get, you get my point. I mean, Holy Nova's an option here, but that's wasteful. I think I prefer just this, By the light. this, and one more Thought Steal, because it's funny. We got another Fiery War Axe! <laughs> we are a warrior. The warrior gets to put up armor to try and make his weapon attacks work. We get to heal ourselves to do very, very similar things. Uh, I mean, this seems pretty easy. That. That. This. This. Could have touched on the other war axe too, but eh. Get some armor going. Get some armor, and then we can use our weapons again because we're a warrior. I can take the hit. I can take the hit. Now we're not typically going to be doing a ton of this, but for one of these, we're going to go ahead and use Shadow Word on it. We're going to use the other one for looking for things like Romash and other terrifying things that are going to murder our face. Die that dwarf. Take the armor down a little bit. We've already seen one shield slam. Got one more to fade. Wouldn't mind seeing it on either one of these creatures. Could even see something weird like Brawl here, but that would be awfully crazy. I wonder. I'll admit, I didn't think armor pass was going to be what happened there. So we'll take our card. And strangely enough, we're not going to do a whole lot here. We're just going to equip this. Heal. We're going to take away all of his armor. By the light. Uh, right. It's really weird to hear the priest talking about attacking, by the way. <laughs> but I like it. It's a nice change of pace. You don't usually get to hear the, uh, the priest attack. I have no time for games. Boy, we ran into somebody with quite the control warrior deck down here at rank 20, didn't we? Well, our 4-6 is actually working against us here. What do we do to get away from this? Could just ignore Sylvanas for now. I must consider. Could hit Sylvanas, play two Northshire clerics, and let him steal one of those because we don't really care about them. Yeah, you know I like that idea. Done. We'll have, we'll just have to hope that it doesn't take the four one basically. 
Hey, look at these clerics we can steal. Injured? We could even Holy Nova, but that's just super crazy. Strike! Alright, take one of my priests. Not the Dark Iron Dwarf, please. Excellent. And then we will simply copy them. I could kill his 1-3, but, you know, why? Why would I do that? Could have also Power Ward Shielded, but that's okay. We have two armor now. Look at us. Living the dream. So the problem with Control Warrior is they usually have a lot of other big threats sitting around. There we go. Thought that was coming. That's a good one. Manatide Totem. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's a Vitality one. Damn. That's okay, though. It's still funny. <laughs> What else do you have in store for us this turn, sir? Ah. Well, you guys have got the 4-3. I mean, that's weird. Our play is not that clear. The Temple Enforcer. Give our Vitality Totem some more heft. Could Light Spawn. Power World Shield it. Power Word. I said World. It's fine. This is weird, but we're going to do it this way. Let's take away his armor again. Boom. And that's it. Get healed. I'm sure we'll see something awful here. Oh. Well, that's... That's fine. That attack is meaningless. Unless he's trying to equip another weapon. Even then, I don't understand that at all. I'm just going to immediately heal that back up. Maybe it's not my place to understand. I don't know. Now I have to deal with the temptation of Alex Strassa. I don't think we're going to get too fancy. We're just going to hit here. Heal. And that's it. I don't see the incentive in doing much else there, to be honest. There we go. That's the kind of stuff we want to see. We love those being used there because, again, we have Alex Strassa in hand, which is going to reduce his health, be a bigger threat. <laughs> He's... He's attacking the totem. This is what it has come to. So we're just going to take that out before he gets any armor from it. And then how do we want to do this? So many different ways. So we're going to play here. Do I really want to just heal there? Yeah, I kind of do. Way he has to spend his war axe and his one two to kill it. With what's on board, he may have something in hand. I just happen to think it's funny. Right now, we're out controlling the control warrior, so things are looking up. We are still waiting to see some devastating stuff out of his hand, though. We have another sludge belter in there somewhere. Oh, he can kill this this way now. Oh, he's used the other execute. Wonderful. All that just to keep the one one alive. Ah, Ragnaros. Well, he's gonna hit him in the face for eight. He's gonna promptly die. Well, he's gonna hit him in the face for eight. No, nope, goodbye. Clara Cultus. Then we give him a shield. Then we give himself. I think we're in pretty good shape. 
Now the warrior is always going to have access to some good stuff coming down the pipe, but he's only got two cards in hand and he's a warrior, so that's pretty impressive on its own. Whatever it is that's targeting my face, I like it. Commanding shout. Interesting. Yeah. Got me. Um, is it, I don't really want a Holy Nova in this spot, but I kind of do anyways. I could do it afterwards, too. No, that's just so wasteful. Kill it. Go back up. And play that. And that. The hell with it. You can brawl if you want to. I don't even care. Because there's only good outcomes from it. Alright. So it's pretty clear here that we're just going to do this and then take him down to six. Okay, well he's got armor, so it's not six. God, it still feels like overextending. I'd rather just do this. This. And this. And this. And that. I have control of the board. Why would I overextend? I would win faster in some cases, but then what if I lose Alex Strasse? I would be devastated. I be catching up on cards, too. There's only two behind. Slams. So there's one behind. Tostingo. <laughs> now we're going to Holy Nova. BT dubs. I should have probably not... That doesn't matter which order. It would have been the same amount of healing because he was down. So we'll hit there. Take away the rest of his armor. Hit there. And heal here. Do I want to play the Dark Cultist? Yeah, I do. I do want to. Brawl it. 420 Brawl it, dude. We've already seen one, and I don't know if a lot of these decks use two. And he killed it. <laughs> he was probably hoping for more from that card than just hitting the loot hoarder outright. You want to have it bounce around a lot. That is not what happened. Um, now we will, we will more than that. I will mourn your death. I'm the Dark Cultist. My fate is sealed. Is it? It's going to take one hell of a situation to get him out of this. I can't even imagine the situation. He draws six brawls. And he uses them all somehow and kills my last minion somehow. I don't I don't know how that works. And then he hits a super death bite, which has 40 attack. And he hits me in the face. And then I start curling into a ball and rocking back and forth. It's not really what I want, but if that series of events happens, I will be in the fetal position. Your opponent's yeah, that was the more likely outcome. That's kind of a testament to how ridiculous Priest can be. I'm not necessarily proud of that, but uh, that was a control warrior and we destroyed him. It wasn't even fair. That does it for this week. We went 4-0, 5-0, I guess, really, when you count the forfeit. It happened so quick I forgot about it, to be honest. But we did okay with our Priest. I'm enjoying the class, and I don't even have access to some of the more fun stuff, like Shrink Master plus Cabal Shadow Priest, and some other fun combinations you can get. It's okay, though. That's why we keep sticking around the low tiers, because we don't have all the cards we want yet. We're working our way there, slowly but surely. Paying very little money. But enjoying the game in the meantime. Anyway, that's it for the week. I hope you enjoyed watching. The videos were prettier, weren't they? It's a card game, but it's fun in 1080p, I bet. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you next time.